Hi guys and welcome to RCC Adventures. Today we're working on the goo, we're doing the MOT check. So it's another MOT check video. Um, well, I'll be cold today. So I'm wearing a big thick jumper, big woolly hat. And uh, yeah, so we're going to start doing some MOT checks on them in. Start again! MOT checks, so like lights. I know there is a tyre that's a bit dodgy, so we might have to um, get that changed at the MOT station tomorrow, because the MOT is tomorrow. Um, We'll check everything. I'll have a qu quick crawl underneath and have a look for any rust or anything like that. I'm not going to lift the car up today because um, my jack for a lowered car, which this is kind of lowered, um, it's not working at the moment for some reason. I've been playing around with it today and it's just it's so loose, it's not actually doing anything. So I won't be able to lift the car up. But I'll have a quick look underneath, check any, any of the brake lines, uh, check the handbrake cables, and just have a general check for any rust or anything like that because yes it's an import from Japan but it is a British car so it might have rust so well it be, even if being a Japanese car it's gonna have rust because my cars have had rust that have been Japanese um, this is a very early example of an MG you have seen it before in, in a previous video with uh, Magoogie as a hardtop and uh, yeah let's get into it right so we'll check the lights we'll check at the start at the front here if you look, as it's working, if I can get the camera right, <laughs> you can see that the lights are working as well. And then we'll go around the side. Side repeater is working. And then for me to be able to check the rear lights, obviously you need to suppress the brake because I, I am here on my own at the moment. Suppress the brake and I've put it into reverse with the engine off. So I've put a pole in there with a glove to protect the seat going up to the brake pedal. You can see that quite right. And we'll go to the back. And you see it's all illuminated. They all work. So far, so good. This is what I mean by the tire is cracking quite badly. As you can see, it's cracking around here. And it's cracking on the side wall along here. So this is the tire that I'm a little bit skeptical about. It's got plenty of tread on it, but it is cracking quite badly. This one back here, there's no cracking on it on the side walls. There's none in the tread and there's plenty of tread on it. And then we'll do the same on this side as well. No cracking. All the way around. No cracking in the tread, because I have checked it before. And plenty of tread. And the same with that one as well. Um, what we'll do now is we'll check the... Um, we'll check the windscreen washer and wipers. This is an N Reg, it's from 1996, this car. Or 1995 to 1996. Might have to run the engine after this to get the screen washers to get going. Oh, no. So they work. Yeah, they work really reasonably well. Yeah, that seems okay. Right, so now I'm going to climb underneath and have a look. Well, that's the first thing I've noticed. The flex is falling apart. That might be a little bit worrying, so that might be a fail or an advisory. We'll have to see how it goes on, because with this we've got no parts to replace. Well, we've got, we've got no parts to be able to replace anything, so it's literally just have a general check around, make sure that the, the, the basics work, and then put it for an MOT and see what it passes or fails on. Um, overall, what I can see so far, if I can get the camera correct, is that the floor's all good. These are lovely. 
point, the jacking point is not rusty, it's just a bit bent. It's not a really good a jacking point, it's a bad place that someone's showing jacking out from. They look a bit oxidised up, but they're not too bad. That fitment's a bit, a bit rusty, but again, not too bad. Just a bit of surface rust here and there, it looks like, really. That might be a little bit. Hmm, maybe. Don't know about that. I am kind of using the phone as well, it is to be able to see underneath, because, you know, can't squeeze my head under. Yeah, okay. There's a leak. Might have an engine leak there as well. Which is possible. Now with Harlequin and Mini, when they went through their MOTs, they, they passed really easily with no advisories. Now, because me and Dad have had no time whatsoever to check this over, we don't know what it needs or not. So it, there is a potential that it might not pass. But there's also a potential that it will pass, but it might have advisories on it. Because we just don't know. All right, so let's have a look from around the back. Right, so we're now around the back, looking at the driver's side rear wheel. Overall, it's not bad. Yeah, it looks okay. What I can see. So this has got a twin exit exhaust. The single muffler. So that's really close. I think the face is just falling apart. I don't know if it's blowing. It does seem a little bit suspect. Looking at the rear or the passenger. Again, it's not terrible. It's workable. This is what you sort of expect, really, when it comes to a 96 car. 95, 96 car. Kind of expect there to be surface rust everywhere, really. That's falling off. Don't expect it to be in perfect condition. Drives well. Does drive well. I am rather big in it, because I am a big person. But it drives well. Uh, clutch feels good. Steering feels good. Um, this does have the, uh, it's like the airbag. No, a suspension system on it. Sort of, so there's a pump at the front that pumps it up to give you that ride. But with this, the pump is not working correctly or not working at all really. So it is pretty much as low as it will go. So Dad has tried sourcing and fixing the pump that's on it, but hasn't had any success with that. But it drives fine doesn't drive at all badly just very bumpy like any load car really is bumpy but overall what I've seen so far I'm happy with happy ish with there's a few things that might be a little bit suspect but we will see tomorrow on the MOT um, I'll have to do the same thing again tomorrow with what I've done with Mini and um, Harlequin is get a little bit of mileage on but dad has used the car since putting the fuel additive in so i probably might be able to just get away with just going to the moc station for the emissions because this has struggled with emissions before um so yeah right so let's have a look at down this side on the driver's side so now under the driver's side now hand under with the camera pipe looks okay Okay, so that does look like there has been a leak, or yeah, a leak in the past. It's not necessarily weeping now. 
Looks reasonably okay. Everything so far that I've seen looks pretty good. It's not a mint condition car, as you know. It is from 1995 to 96. <coughs> Sorry if it's jerry. The floor looks okay. No obvious rust signs anything like that now this being an mgf the engine is in the back same with the mgtf but it's a mid mounted engine so it's a mid-engine car and this has got the 1.8 vvc in it sorry it's not the vvc it's just a 1.8 slightly later ones had vvcs that looks to be a little bit cracked so that might be another issue to look into also let's do this again on the other side to have a look mm, looks okay what i can see as i'm using the camera now for you enthusiasts out there of these mgfs you notice that this has actually got the trophy front bumper because it's a replacement bumper it's not the original one that came with the car because the original one got damaged so what do you do in that situation you put on the trophy one if you can get it so that's what dad did and it really really smartens the front up all right so now we're under the front having a look i can't see any obvious holes or anything like that so far nothing that really stands out to me that looks to be replaced all the steering linkage looks okay ish look under there Hmm. Only roll bar is a bit crap looking, but it's not hanging or anything like that, so if it's okay. Yeah, it's just the protective coating that goes on the anti roll bar. It looks a bit crap. Another rubber there looks a little bit rubbish. Yeah, that tire looks very, to be fair, pretty had it. We will see how that goes on. Right, so let's have a look from under here. So you are on the floor. Looks reasonable. Nothing suspect so far, really. What's up with these MOT checks? It's just you're just having a general look, really. Because <clears throat> obviously I'm not an MOT tester. I'm not an MOT tester at all. But I know what looks dodgy. Or yeah, just I know what looks dodgy. And there's a few things that potentially could look be a little bit suspect on this, but we will see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the seat belts. Alright, so we'll start on the passenger side, checking the seat belt. I was very brutal when I did minis once, but I've been told, thanks Chris for letting me know, is that I don't need to do that. I was, just, I was extremely brutal. As I said, I'm not an MOT tester. So we're just checking seat belt for any frame, for any material. That's come out, that's all the way. Looks reasonable. That goes back quite good, that's good. I'm 
happy with that side. Tracks nice and quick. That's good. Go around the other side. Right, driver's side. Open the door. Avoiding anything that's gonna hit. Checking the uh, material again. Sometimes there's a date on them. It says Rover, obviously, Rover MG. Taking it all the way out. Checking the material. That's okay. Obviously, you're checking material for any frame. Is that good? Yeah, that's all good. Now, see, I know you guys are dying to see the fire breathing engine being a mid engine car. Let's show you. Are you ready? The boot. <laughs> it has a boot in the back and it has a small little cubby bit at the front, too. But yes. For a car of this size, it has a reasonable size boot. It's quite surprising. See that lever there? That's for your bonnet. Where you've got the spare wheel, the compressor for the um, suspension, and everything like that. But, and it, these are a git to work on these cars, because <laughs> accessibility is a problem. But they do make, they have made panels to get to stuff. But the engine is in there. If you look in there, you'll see a lovely new throttle body, which is nice and big. It's all in there. It was all the way around there. All over there with a lovely comb filter. So it makes lovely noises. And it's got a pipe across filter. But yeah, the engine's in there. 1.8 in a small car that weighs nothing. So it's pretty, it's, it's pretty pokey. Right, let's pull the lever for the front and we'll go around the front. So this is an MOT check plus a little bit of a walk around as well. Is it lift up? Yeah, it's lift up. So I've got to use my hand that's holding the camera to hold the bonnet. Put the bonnet holder up, and then you got in there. So your spare wheel, your twin horn, your battery over there, your brake master cylinder and booster, and in here somewhere is the pump back there. That there is the pump, I think, and the chassis number down there, as you can see. If you can see it on the camera, with your paint code and everything. Screen wash bowl. Yeah. What they managed to do with these cars is, as far as I'm concerned, is quite good because, you know, small car, small space, and yet it's got a 1.8 in it, which for a size of vehicle is quite big. And everything's nicely packaged. It's quite good. So, yeah. So, there you go. I've had a quick look around it. Few things that are a little bit suspect, but we have to see on the MOT. We could have got an MOT um, pre check, but that costs money, you know. So we didn't bother doing that. Um, so I've had a check around it. What I'm going to do now is I'll get you set up inside and we'll go for a drive just to see if I can hear, it, hear any obvious knocks and bangs that they're up. Oh, it's going to bash about a bit, you know, it's what it is. Uh, but let's see if there's any like knocking that shouldn't be there, you know, like. But you can hear a ball joint, or you can hear uh, rumbling from the uh, the wheel bearings and stuff like that. So we'll have a general look, and a general here using our ear lube and ear holes, just to have a good look, and uh, you know, just take it out for a drive because it's a good car. I like driving it; it's fun. It's a fun little car. 
Mickey is as, is as or almost as fun. Mm. Mm. That's a challenge video. Mickey won't be as fast, but it'll be a challenge video nonetheless because Mickey can now take corners with bumps. It's not so much. <laughs> so it could be fun. We'll see. Let's see what you think. You know, if you like that idea of doing a sort of a challenge slash comparison video between Mickey and the MG, or Magoo, as I've called it, or Magoogle, whatever the name is, I've called it Magoo because, you know, he's now on YouTube as the name Magoo. So go with that. So you see that. If you want to see that, just let me know in the comments. So let's get you set up. Right. You're all set up. Hopefully you don't move around too much. You probably will. Let's get the key. As you can see, I'm quite large in here. <laughs> Didn't bother putting the roof down because, you know, audio. I want you to be able to hear me. Because my microphone, my external microphone I bought, doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Might be due to the fact that in uh, the video with Harlequin, when I did the walk around, it was pissing down rain. Yeah, uh, I think it actually damaged it and it doesn't work anymore. I like the noise. It's good noise. Right. So this is a small car. It's got small pedals. And I'm a big person with big, big, big feet. So <laughs> it's a little bit of a challenge to drive. But I'm capable. We move around a bit. We move around a bit more. There's going to be a lot of moving the boot. Avoid Mickey and Minnie, both of them there, both white crews together. <laughs> I love a K series engine, they make good noises. Make good noises, noises when you put on a cone filter. Avoid the speed ups because it's low. It does go over them, just. Too many people. Too many people in vehicles. It's got a lovely short throw between the gears. It's very sports car-y. Oh, it's one of those new Rolls-Royce SUV things. It is a little bit warm in here. supposed to be doing by checking for noises. Can't hear anything obvious. It's a good sign. No sort of loud bangs. Can't hear any rumbling from any that was rumbling from any uh oil bearing. We'll also check the brakes on this journey as well make sure they actually stop the vehicle. So in this kind of, this, this is a, 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 almost an all-in video, so doing MOT checks. Uh, we'll be doing the MOT, uh, like the, the video for the MOT tomorrow. So I won't do that because otherwise it'll be a really, really, really long video in this one. So that'll be another part to it. Sorry, it is very bumpy. You've got a new mount where you've got two suction cups. Might need to get the third one just for this car and Mickey. So get another suction cup on it with another arm to make it more sturdy. Yeah, that's all good. 
boat underneath it, I'd say. Also a tripod sort of situation. Um, anyway, so yeah, in this video, uh, we're doing the MOT checks, checking the lights, checking tyres. I know that tyre is a bit suspect, uh, but I have been told uh, if it, it does have a problem to ask the MOT station because they are a tyre place as well if they can put a new tyre on. Uh, checks underneath for any major corrosion, which there isn't. Uh, check for any leaks, there is an oil, an engine oil leak um, or looks like a remnants of an oil leak. But it's, it's not sort of gushing out, so that's okay. Um, I was, as I said, going to put the roof down, but obviously with the audio that makes it a bit of a problem not having my microphone with me, but not having a working microphone, external microphone, so I'm having to use the camera microphone. Uh, jet seat belts as well. Cyclist. The air brakes are working good. So that's that ticked. Is that again? Really, more cars. I will get past the cyclist. Just might take a minute because there's a lot of people on the road today. This used to be a 50, it's now 40. Which is a shame. Can't really overtake now. No, great. I will get past. Don't want to be breaking the law or do anything dangerous because that would just be silly. You don't do silly things in cars. Only silly people do silly things in cars. Well, you want to go from a lane to just drive. That's a hill, can't go around the canyon. I keep telling Dad that he needs to put an exhaust on it. Put a performance exhaust on it to really enhance the noise. It's a car that deserves to have lots of noise. Get it in the fifth. Cruise of it. Sorry, another bump. Now for me, that bump weren't too bad. For you, you moved a lot. You moved a heck of a lot. We won't drone this out a bit too, too much longer. I'll uh, head back. Ooh. Sorry for the swear word. People don't pay attention to the road layout. Nice sweeping corner. It's a faulty now, it's ruined the road because it was a lovely road before. Really, really sort of attacked the corners and the car, really, you know. It's a real shame. Real shame. Induction noise in fifth gear. You see, I feel big in this. But I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You are moving a lot. I'm sorry. In the fourth. In the third. In the second. Let's go left. Accelerate a bit hard. Mickey was a manual, which might happen. I'll be able to make noises like that, and accelerations. Right. right, we're gonna do one last hard pull in a minute before we go back. Uh, just for fun. You know, fun. Must have fun. Must have fun in a British sports car. Modern British sports car. 
that we'll have fun. Right, there it's clear. Let's get round the corner a little bit. Nothing coming. Pull off. So we're back now and uh, you know, good fun to drive this thing. Um, there are a few things that we might be a little bit suspect on the MOT tomorrow, but we will see how that goes. Um, so there's the tire, maybe the flexi pipe, um, maybe a couple of the rubbers. Right, yeah, it might be, a, might be a rubber on a ball joint on this side, I think on the driver's side. Um, looks a little bit suspect, but other than that, overall, it's in good nick. Uh, there's no obvious rust. There's well, it's just it's all pretty good to be fair. So um, we'll we'll leave it there really. I think uh, we'll go on to the next video, which will be the MOT for tomorrow. Obviously, there will be a, a, a gap between the videos uh, for when they're on YouTube. So this will be going up in say a next few days time. And then the one after that will be a week later. So for you, you'd be waiting a week between the two videos. But for me making them, there's only a two day apart. So sorry about that. But anyway, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Um, hit the bell icon for any notifications. You know, the little tiny bell when you press subscribe, there's a little bell on the right hand side. Click that and then at the top, it will say um, all um, or part of. There's a thing there, but I always press all, which is the top one. Hit the like button. Hit the dislike button if you don't like the video, but you know, it, anything like that sort of it helps encourage and progress my channel. Um, and any comments, as like I said before, if you want to see a video between this, the uh, this being uh, Magoo and Mickey for sort of like the, th the fun um, weekend car, this being a sports car. Mickey being a, um, a small JDM Nissan Micra, that's not standard, uh, but they're both great fun. Uh, so this is, this, it could be a challenge comparison video called the Fun Weekend Car uh, Challenge. Um, if you like that, if you like that idea, let me know in the comments and I will do that. Like that, yeah. So there's plenty of comparison videos coming up, um, obviously between Mickey and Minnie, the two micros, there's the differences between the two, um, obviously in age and the modifications that Mickey's got and the standardizations that, that um, Minnie has got, um, what they've developed over the years and basically how they drive because they're all basically the same car. They've both got the same engine, they've both got the same gearbox. Uh, Mini is a three door, Mickey is a five door. Um, the Mini is a pre-facelift and Mickey is a facelift. It's the first gen facelift of the K11s, not the, because you then um, O2 onwards, then they oh, like they went on to the next one, which was the second gen facelift, and then went on to the K12. Um, but anyway, there's that one. Um, there's a comparison, as I said before, in the uh, review video of the Chrysler. Um, there's one between the Chrysler and Harlequin, the Mark IV Golf, because they are semi, well, the Chrysler is definitely a luxury vehicle, but the Golf is almost a luxury vehicle. It's more of the top end sort of, sort of, sort of scale on the uh, Mark IV Golf there. Um, but anyway, I am rabbiting as per usual. Um, I'm getting rather warm in here, but I know it's cold outside, so I'm sort of holding off a bit. Um, and yeah, and I'll catch you in the next one guys.